I'm Beauregard, Lindsay Beauregard. And I'm Markley, Steve Markley. And today we have for you our James Bond episode in anticipation of the new film, Quantum of Solace. What are you doing? James Bond is British. What do you think this is, you wee lass? I don't know, you sound Scottish to me. <sighs> yeah, well, Lindsay, someone was supposed to dress up as a Bond girl. It's not our cameraman, Eric. <whistles> so sit back and buckle up. You're watching Cars Cast Weekly. With tough economic times here to stay for the foreseeable future, Cars.com decided to put four low-cost vehicles to the test in a mileage challenge. Driving over 300 miles on highways southwest of Chicago, the numbers are in, and out of four models the winner is the Toyota Corolla, my car, which outperformed its EPA rating by logging an average of 36.4 miles per gallon. Coming in behind the Corolla's stellar performance with a Honda Civic with 34.6 miles per gallon, the Pontiac G5 with 33.1 miles per gallon, and the Ford Focus with 31 miles per gallon. Congratulations on your baby taking the top prize. Thanks, I knew she could do it. Well, we now turn to our favorite gadgets from this year's SEMA show. Ah, James Bond style. You bet, especially if James Bond likes the horn of his Aston Martin to play Soldier Boy. The company Horn Tones has made that dream a reality. President Mike Costco created the FX550, an MP3 car horn that can pump out sound in excess of 100 decibels. Users can upload any MP3 using an online tool or choose from a selection already on the site. The device costs around $300 plus installation. Who do you think would win in a fight, James Bond or Batman? Batman. Oh, really? Have you seen his new car? The Batsmart. Yes, that's right, the Batmobile version of the Smart 4.2 was the brainchild of original Batmobile creator George Barris. It's basically a 4-2 with a jet exhaust and high-mounted rear wings. You know, just in case Batman gets stomped and his nerdy eco-friendly neighbor has to fight crime instead. Call him Bat-dork. Lindsay, that was incredibly condescending to feel conscious drivers. But I... whatever. Seeing as how Bond's always getting into all of those spectacular car chases, perhaps he should invest in a product from the Japan company Paparazzi. Device can be your accident witness, sort of. Called the accident logger, very original. The car deck size contraption mounts to the windshield and is equipped with a video camera to record and save 20 second time frames if you have an accident. The 20 second recording period is determined by either a physical switch or by sudden braking of your vehicle. The paparazzi accident logger will set you back about $350. I bet Bill Jackson wishes there wasn't a video recording him in our clip of the week. And our test model seconded about arts. And what it does is it, uh, it's not, and it's not. Who can blame him? He got stuck reviewing an Aveo 5. But anyway, that's all the time we have for this week. For CarsCast Weekly, I'm Lindsay Beauregard. And I'm Stephen Markley. And until next time, if you drive your car out of an airplane while in pursuit of an international terrorist who just happens to be a smoking hot babe, make sure you flick on your accident logger. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, Kicking Tires.